Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5062553. Because of this error code that is 0x807306. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First of all, first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update. Over here, you can click on Pause Update. And then this process may take some time and then click on Resume Updates and then you can check if that does not work the next step is to start app readiness service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find app readiness in the list make a double click on app readiness and then set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and then check if that does not work the next step is to run update troubleshooter for this open windows settings go to system scroll down and then click on troubleshoot option now click on other troubleshooters over here you will see windows update click on run over here and this will open a new window and just follow the on screen instruction to troubleshoot sometimes it works sometimes it does not work so in my case i will show you here you can see it says run the windows update troubleshooter and then over here I you have to select the reason I can't download install or uninstall the update so I am not able to install it so click on this option and then over here can we run that windows updated update automated diagnostic you have to select yes over here and just follow the on screen instruction to perform the troubleshooting and then you can check now while running this if you receive any error over here and if you are unable to uh, run this troubleshooter in that case uh, you can follow the next step now the next step is to restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service so for this uh, you can type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find windows update scroll down make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click and then click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now with this selected make a right click then click on restart and then you can check here you can see I received the, error, the windows update diagnostic rain, uh, failed to run. So sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work. So you can follow rest of the steps. Now the next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. If you see, now click on yes to allow. Now. On this screen, if you see update now option or install now option, you can update it using Windows 11 installation assistant. In my case, it is already up to date. Still not working. The next step is you use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, write down the name of the update. That is name of the update is KB506. 2553 so you can paste it over here or you can just type in the name of the update and then click on search and over here for me it's windows 11 version 24h2 x64 base system you can check what kind of system you have you can go to system in windows settings and then go to about over here you will see for me it's x64 based system so for me it's windows 11 version 24h2 x64 based system click on download and then once you click on download you will see this here you can see windows 11 kb5062553 click on it and then you can install this update manually so once the download is complete click on this file and install this update manually you can even install this restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description copy till here and then type in notepad in windows search box open notepad paste all the command over here go to file click on save as you can set the location as desktop and name this file as wufix.bat 
and then for save as type select all files click on save now you can go to desktop make a right click on wu fix and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this file as an administrator click on yes to allow and here you can see first of all it will stop all the windows update services and if you see this prompt yes or no type in y for yes and then hit the enter key and let the process complete so first of all it will stop all the windows update services then it will run couple of scans so the scan process will take some time this process will take some time and once all the scans are complete it will restart all the windows update services and then you can restart your computer and then you can update your windows 11 once again and then check still not working next step is to use option that is fix problem using windows update now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option and then go to recovery option and over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will again take some time and once this is done you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool to update your windows 11. to use media creation tool uh, copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see create windows 11 installation media click on download now over here and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now click on accept and let the process complete this may take some time so by default windows 11 is selected over here now click on next now select iso file over here and then click on next you can set the location as desktop now click on save now let the download complete this process will take some time now once done click on finish over here and just wait for this screen to go away now once gone now you can go to desktop find the iso file over here and make a double click and then over here you can see the setup option uh, setup exe file make a double click click on yes to allow now click on next over here and let this complete now click on accept now once done over here you can see the option which says keep personal files and app it checked by default so make sure this is checked so that you don't lose any data on the computer so once checked over here now click on install so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer and you should not receive this error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel